Welcome to Pathfinder online special classes on Botany. Uh, here today in this lecture, I am going to uh, introduce you people about uh, a topic which is an introductory biotechnology and falls under second paper uh, in subcategory of genetics. It is an important and emerging branch which encompasses the uh, area shown here like recombinant DNA technology, colony and southern hybridization, DNA sequencing, northern hybridization, western blotting, ELISA and in situ hybridization as well. These are the major topics which I will go to explain further in upcoming classes. Now we come to recombinant DNA technology which principally includes DNA modifying enzymes. These are ligases, restriction endonucleases. Recently in your papers I came to know um, the questions asked regarding these enzymes and other enzymes like polynucleotide kinases, uh, polymerases and all those enzymes. The next is chemical synthesis of genes. There are two popular approaches which I will explain in next classes. The next one is cDNA and genomic DNA library preparation. This is also an important branch uh, from which questions are being asked. And next is gene cloning. This is an important part of the uh, subject which includes PCR amplification of DNA fragments from the template DNA molecules and the next is DNA vectors which are used for the cloning of DNA molecules. On the basis of their origin, these vectors can be divided, subdivided into these kind of classes like plasmid, hedgemids, cosmids, X and Bax. The X is the yeast artificial chromosomes, Bax are the bacterial artificial chromosomes. Both of these uh, vector molecules are used for the cloning of big DNA molecules. On the basis of their behavior, these uh, vectors could be subdivided into cloning and expression vector. Cloning vectors are the vectors where we tend to clone our DNA molecules for the purpose of sequencing, screening of positive uh, molecules. And the next is expression vectors. Expression vectors are the specialized vectors which have the special kind of DNA molecules which are responsible for the expression of gene molecules in the specific organisms like plants and animals. So first we start with the DNA modifying enzymes. These are of, uh, are of several types according to their, their utilities. The first one is the restriction endonucleases. These are the enzymes which cuts the DNA molecules uh, in between the uh, DNA sequences. Another class of molecule is uh, exonucleases which tends to chop the DNA molecules from the terminal ends. So these restriction endonucleases are the enzymes which are, which are prop, uh, popularly used, uh, utilized in the gene cloning practices for the uh, digestion of DNA molecules from the intact DNA templates. The next one is DNA ligase. Ligase is an enzyme which ligates or joins the two DNA molecules which are, has been restricted with different or similar kind of endonucleases. The next one is the general and engineered polymerases. Polymerases are those enzymes which are responsible for the synthesis of DNA molecules on a DNA template. These are of several types. We will definitely cover it in next uh, upcoming lectures. Uh, and another is polynucleotide kinase. Polynucleotide kinase is an enzyme which adds phosphate uh, um, uh, residues in the uh, DNA molecules. With, it has a uh, special utility which I will cover in the gene cloning part. The another is alkaline phosphatase as an enzyme used in the removal of phosphate uh, groups from the DNA molecules to prepare it not to be self ligated. So these are the enzymes popularly used in the um, gene cloning approaches. I will explain one by one about every of the enzymes. So first of all I will start with the restriction endonucleases. The name restriction endonucleases is because of their nature. These are the native enzymes of the uh, bacteria which restricts the foreign DNA molecules to be introduced inside the cell whenever the uh, foreign molecules came inside the cell. These endonucleases tends to cut it 
and uh, make the bacterial cell safe from the foreign molecules. So now, on the basis of their uh, cutting ability, recognition sites, these are of three types. The type one is the DNA molecule, uh, the restriction enzyme, which cuts th thousand base pair away from the uh, actual recognition site. Uh, and the example is ECO K1. Like for example, if the palindromic restriction in the nucleus recognition site is here, like A, T, G, C, C, C. So this kind of uh, uh, restriction in the nucleus tends to cut thousand base pair away from this recognition site. The second and the most popular type of enzymes frequently used in the gene cloning practices are the restriction and the enzyme types of type, type 2 enzymes. They exactly cuts the DNA molecules on their sites, commission sites, like for example, hint thing. And the third type of endonucleases are the intermediate between type 1 and type 2. They tend to cut the DNA molecules in the close vicinity of their recognition sites. Like for example, if the hex, this one hexamer is the recognition site, the enzyme will tend to cut the DNA molecule in vicinity of somewhere here in the DNA molecule. So this classification was on the basis of the cutting ability of the DNA molecules. And the next classification could be on the basis of what kind of ends they produce after the uh, digestion of DNA molecules. And these might of two types. For, uh, as these restriction endonucleases recognize the palindromic site, which are the mirror sites, here you can see, like GAA, TPC in the case of ECOR1. So, first I will talk to about uh, uh, cohesive end uh, restriction endonucleases, which produces cohesive end after digestion. So, the recognition site is the hexamer here. You can see there are six bases which are the recognition site and the enzyme tends to cut it from here and here which produces a cohesive end or staggered staggered and after digestion like this now these overhangs would be available for the further ligation of the molecule and uh, these are the enzymes which are most preferable for the oriented cloning of the gene molecules and the second one second class is the enzymes which produces blunt, blunt ends after digestion. There are so many enzymes like SMA1, BBU2, ALU1 and uh, DRA1. The tendency of the enzymes is to cut the DNA molecules exactly at the same place on the recognition site and as a resultant it will produce the uh, molecules which have blunt ends other than cohesive ends. The next DNA modifying enzyme is the DNA ligase, which is uh, the enzyme responsible for the ligation or addition of two different DNA molecules. Either they are restricted with the blunt end uh, restriction endonuclease or cohesive end endonucleases. It is an energy requiring reaction and mostly performed uh, at the temperatures suboptimal, either at 4 or 16 degrees Celsius and it also requires ATP. So the ligase is the molecule where the two different DNA molecules like for example if we consider it is a vector in which we try to insert this uh, DNA fragment. So now you can see there is a 5' phosphate which is compatible to 3' hydroxyl group of the vector molecule. So the ligase performs the ligation in between these phosphate and these OS molecules and the, in this way, this DNA inserts can be ligated into this vector molecules. Most of the times, we use DNA ligases from the bacteriophages, that is T4 DNA ligases, some other DNA ligases engineered are also available. So, restriction endonucleases and ligase are the two principal enzymes frequently used in the gene cloning. Another two enzymes which are important for the gene cloning are the alkaline phosphatase. Alkaline phosphatase is an enzyme which is used for the removal of phosphate groups like from here because when we tend to ligate a DNA molecule in the vector there are most 
most most of the time probabilities are high there that these vector molecules will be self ligated as they be a cohesive ends there are uh, possibilities that they could uh, self ligate or self circularize to prevent this uh, event what we did we need to remove this phosphate from here so the tendency of self ligation would be removed because phosphate is available at this insert which can integ uh, uh, integrate here at the os group when this half ligated molecule will be would be inserted in a e coli cell the next of the ligation would be performed during replication inside the cell and it would complete it like a complete vector so alkaline phosphatase is the enzyme which is used for the removal of the phosphate from the vector molecule to prevent the self ligation of the molecules another enzyme is polynucleotide kinase polynucleotide kinase is an enzyme which is used for the addition of phosphate groups at the dna ends why we are needed to add phosphate groups at the uh, ends of the dna because in some such some cases where the vector molecule has a blunt end and the insert molecule has a cohesive end so to ligate these kind of insert into blunt ended vectors we need to end the fills of this insert molecules for this purpose we utilize polynucleotide kinase which can successfully introduce phosphate groups at these ends and works as a uh, end filling enzyme for this purpose and other enzymes are all, uh, also available like clenoff fragment which is a part of polymerase this enzyme is also used for end filling so uh, after this i will explain the polymerases simple polymerases and in uh, engineered polymerases but first next class of the enzymes is the polymerases these are the dna polymerases uh, which are responsible for the replication of dna molecules inside the cell either it is plastid dna mitochondrial dna or genomic dna as all we know the dna molecules are, are the self uh, replicatory molecule so they need to perpetuate themselves in next generation and for the purpose they utilize polymerases simply these are dna dependent dna polymerases which polymerizes dna molecules uh, like you can say the incorporation of new nucleotides on the dna template to synthesize the new molecule of dna which would be a complementary copy of the same template dna molecule the simplest and naturally found polymerases are dna dependent dna polymerases which are responsible for the replication which are responsible for the replication and the another important class of polymerase is rna dependent dna polymerase which is utilized for the cdna preparation what it did, did it utilizes rna as a template molecule and synthesizes it DNA, uh, or incorporates nucleotide molecules on the rna template to form a single stranded cdna cdna is a complementary dna which we utilize for the expression studies as well as cloning of ESTs express expressed sequence tags the next class of the polymerase is an enzyme which is tag polymerase all we people know that these kind of polymerases used in the pcr reaction that is a polymerase chain reaction for the amplification of target dna molecules from a very fair amount of template dna so what they did these polymerases are stable at the higher temperature like 98 and 94 degree celsius so they don't don't lose their ability to polymerize the dna even after uh, even after they face high temperature these are of several types now uh, naturally what uh, which tag polymerase was uh, discovered by carey mullis in 1982 was the thermus aquaticus it is an uh, Uh, microorganism found in warm waters and uh, at those conditions itself it maintains it is its uh, ability 
to polymerize DNA molecules inside the cell. Nowadays, there are so many poly uh, tag polymerases are available from the different sources. As the popular one is the Polycoccus furiosus (PFU), the vent polymerases. But according to utility advancement of the biotechnic, there are other enzymes have been engineered, which has different abilities like better priming, long uh, strand DNA synthesis, and all those. According to that, several companies offer uh, engineered enzymes like Advantage, Prime Star from Takara. Q5 from the NAB, AQ prime from Invitrogen. Every of these enzymes has their own ability, engineered ability to synthesize DNA molecules in better way. So this was all for today. Uh, today in this lecture we uh, study the DNA modifying enzymes, popular DNA modifying enzymes which are being used or, and asked in your papers. In the next of our lecture we will cover uh, vector molecules uh, from different sources and the utility of those vector molecules. So it would be all for today and I request you to please subscribe our Pathfinder online special classes. Thank you.